Yo, 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 what's going on everyone? Thank you again for stopping by. My name is Dutch Lion, and in this video, we are once again continuing with the enclosure for the Grey Seals. And in this episode, we're going to focus on the rock work that we started on in the previous video. And we're also going to start with a building for decoration purposes. In the previous episode, we started to destroy partially uh, the build that we had for the penguins. And in the section that we deleted, we started to create an underwater viewing area for the guests to look at the grey seals. There's like the greyish path that you see. There we also started on the rock work on the top section, the top viewing area that is. And whenever this section is done in this video, we're also going to recolor all the rocks. Later on in the future episodes, we are pretty much working on the same tactic, reducing the default color. Because that way it's for me personally way easier to place rocks everywhere. And then use the multi-select tool. Just randomly select a couple rocks here and there. Recolor them in general. And then at the end of the day it will sort of work out pretty nicely. All the builds that you see in the videos over here on YouTube have been made live over on Twitch. I'll leave a link in the description as always. Feel free to check out the streams as well. We also answer questions, go over inspiration for future DLCs and future builds, etc. It's going to be really cool. So hopefully I will see you in the Twitch streams as well. I'm also going to start at a special project as well, which will be for the new DLC. I can't really talk about it too much yet, but there's most likely going to be a extra video this week showing the yeah, new animals for the DLC. But more of that later on. Also on the live streams, we are pretty much already finished or at least almost finished on the enclosure itself. So we're a little behind on the YouTube videos. And therefore we also made a couple changes already. And specifically the building that I talked about earlier that will be in this episode. At least where we start on it on this episode. Um, had been used for a habitat entrance for the keepers to be able to enter the enclosure but later on whenever we decorated the side of the enclosure we sort of gave it a different purpose it was just for decoration so like from now on we're just gonna call it a decorative piece because we are moving the staff gate to the side of the enclosure instead of all the way in the back the main reason is because if we kept it the way that it was before so the thing that you will see most likely in the next episode the staff members need to walk a great distance like they have to physically go around the enclosure and it just takes time time is money in planet 2 as well so the staff why so to speak so work zones that was the word i was looking for it would have been way more sufficient if i would change the location of the staff gate. So now it's super close to the staff gate for the penguins. And therefore we can make a work zone all together. So for this whole area. In terms of look, how the overall area will look like, it's going to be the same as the other enclosure. So if you haven't seen that video series out yet, I will also leave like a little link thingy up top in the video itself. So if you haven't checked that one out yet, feel free to do that because that would sort of give you a nice idea how the area looks. It's a sort of what I like to call a North American foresty area. It's not specifically from North America, but um, what I mean with that is like a lot of trees, a lot of bushes, it's a very natural area. And we started on that look whenever we made the enclosure for the pronghorn antelope and the american bison so i think that's the reason why i'm sort of calling it a north american look but we're going to try to get the same look over in this enclosure there is a but the gray seals live in the water like not all the time but they do spend a lot of time in the water itself and therefore the amount of trees and overall foliage that we can place inside the enclosure is very limited it's only around 20 percent so we can't really go fully ham with placing all the foliage items that we would like so we try to come up with a couple ideas 
as well. And that is placing a lot of foliage on the outside of the enclosure. So we're able to manipulate the look, so to speak. So that it looks like that the foliage is inside the enclosure, but actually it's in the outside. Just to get like a visual representation, so to speak, of how the area would have looked like if we could have placed more foliage items inside the enclosure. But yeah, like it still worked out at the end. For now though, I'll leave you all with the remaining of the speed build as always. Thank you all again for stopping by. Much appreciated as always. Once again, I will leave a link in the description down below for the Twitch channel. I will also leave a link for the Discord channel as well. It is not a 100% Planet Zoo focused Discord, but we do share inspiration and screenshots and we help each other out if we have questions there too. So feel free to join the Discord server as well. And I think that is pretty much it. So for now, thank you all very much once again. Hopefully I will see you all in the next video over here on YouTube. Otherwise in the streams over on Twitch. Thank you all very much once again. Stay safe. I will see you all later. Have a good one. Bye bye.
Amen.